Ireland is famous for its gorgeous diverse landscape. It is known as an emerald isle for a good reason. The beauty of this country is beyond less sumptuous shades of green. It is full of rolling hills, dramatic cliffs and mountains. Irish pubs are important part of Irish life. Irish whiskey and Guinness beer are popular around the world. Halloween is originated in Ireland. The basis for this fun holiday dates back 2000 years to Celtic festivals. Ancient people of Ireland celebrate the day that the dead return to walk the earth before their new year, which is on November 1st. The country that we are going to explore today is Republic of Ireland. Republic of Ireland's flag stands for inclusion and aspiration for the unity of different traditions on the island. The green symbolizes Roman Catholics, the orange represents the minority Protestants, while the white in the center signifies the lasting truce between Catholics and Protestants. The coat of arms is a gold harp with a silver string on a blue background. This has been an emblem since the 13th century. Ireland is unique in a way that it is the only country to have a musical instrument as a national emblem. Geography. The island of Ireland is in Northwest Europe in the North Atlantic Ocean. The Republic of Ireland take up five fifths of the island and the rest is Northern Ireland which is part of United Kingdom. The Republic of Ireland covers the area of 70,273 square kilometers. The island is bounded by the Atlantic Ocean, Irish Sea and the Celtic Sea. The main geographical feature of the island is low central plains surrounded by rolling coastal mountains. The highest peak is Caranto. The western landscape mostly consists of rugged cliff, hills and mountains. The west coast is more rugged than the east, with numerous island peninsulas, headlands and bays. River Shannon, which travels central lower land, is the longest river in Ireland. Ireland is one of the least forested countries in Europe. About 10% of Ireland is wooded. Agriculture accounts for about 60% of the total land. Summer temperatures are usually mild in the mid 20 degrees Celsius. It barely ever goes above 30 degrees, which is 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Winter averages are around 5 degrees Celsius, 41 degrees Fahrenheit. It can rain any time but they are usually short-lived. Snow and severe frost are usually confined between December and February. History! The Republic of Ireland was born when 26 of the 32 counties of Ireland separated from the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland in 1922. But humans have been inhabiting these islands since 10,000 BC. So Ireland history is long. I will highlight only the significant event that made the country what is today. According to the Confessions of St. Patrick's written by him, in the 5th century, Irish pirate captured the 16-year-old Patrick and took him to the island. He was enslaved and held captive for six long years. Then he escaped to his family and came back to introduce Christianity to the island. In 1852, Vikings established a fortress closer to where Dublin is right now, but Viking power started to decline by the turn of the first millennia. In 1171, Henry II of England landed in Ireland and declared himself Lord of Ireland. In 1297, the Irish Parliament met in Dublin for the first time. In 1494, the English Parliament ordered the Irish Parliament not to pass any law without prior consent from English Parliament. In 1542, Irish Parliament passed the Crown of 
Ireland Act which established Kingdom of Ireland to be ruled by Henry VIII and his successors. In 1606, Scottish settlers arrived and established a plantation in Ulster. In 1740, extreme winters resulted in poor harvest causing large scale famine. Almost half a million people died. In 1760, then again in 1796, French tried to invade Ireland but they were unsuccessful. In 1798, Irish rebellions started. In 1801, Act of Union 1800 united the Kingdom of Ireland and the Great Britain forming the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. However, it didn't stop the Irish rebellions. It continued. The Catholic Relief Act passed in 1829 allowing Catholic to serve in United Kingdom's parliament. Tithe Commutation Act passed in 1836 reduced the church's tithe, which is a form of tax. which largely entered the unrest during the great famine between 1845 and 1849 the island population of over 8 million fell by 30 percentage 1 million irish died of starvation and or disease and another 1.5 million immigrated mostly to united states this set the pattern for immigration for centuries to come resulting in constant population decline until 1960s home rule bill was passed in 1889 and updated in 1893 in 1916 the irish republican brotherhood seized key covered government building in dublin and issued proclamation of irish republic in 1919 Irish Republican Army killed two Royal Irish Constable. It is considered the first act of war for independence. December 6, 1921, War of Independence ended with the signing of Anglo-Irish Treaty by British government and the de facto Irish Republic. The Republic of Ireland was born in 1949. Republic of Ireland Act abolished ties with British monarch. Ireland joined the United Nations in 1955. Joined EU, European Union in 1973 and in 1999 adapted euro as their currency. People and culture. Irish are known as fun-loving, charming, witty and welcoming people. The population of Republic of Ireland is about 5 million. Most of them are descent from a combination of Gaelic, Norse, Anglo-Norman, French and British. 85% of the population is Irish. 9% of the population is otherwise, mostly from Poland, UK, Lithuania, Romania, or Latvia. Asians account for 2%. Blacks make up 1.5% of the population. About 2/3 of the islanders live in urban area and other third live in the rural area. Ireland has one of the highest share of people living in rural area in Europe. The Irish constitution described Irish as the national language and the first official language, English as the second official language. However, English is the dominant language. Irish is spoken in small number of rural area and most of the majority of them speak English. Christianity is the dominant religion. About 2/3 of the population is Catholic. About 10% is non-religious and 4% of them are Protestant. Remaining population follows various other religion. Ireland's culture was Gaelic for the longest time and it remained one of the six principal Gaelic nation however it has been influenced by english and scottish cultures now ireland had made significant contributions to world literature both in english and irish languages 
Irish traditional music is vibrant and retained many traditional aspects. It has influenced various music genres from Afro American country to modern rock. Ireland is one of the most successful countries in Eurovision Song Contest. Irish have a rich diet of shrimp, salmon, vegetables, soda bread, cheese and meat. Some of the popular dishes are shepherd's pie, Irish stew, pork stew and caro. For most of you it come as a no surprise. Ireland is one of the highest alcohol consuming countries with beer and whiskey being the most popular adult beverage. Irish play lots of sports but Gaelic football and hurling are traditional sports. Other popular sports include soccer, rugby, cricket, netball, golf and a lot of them. Economy. Ireland's economy is classified as developed advanced high income economy. Its economic freedom score is 82, making it the economy third freest in 2023. It is supported by well institutionalized protection, a stable judiciary, regulatory efficiency and openness to global trade and investment. GDP is about 660 billion and the GDP per capita is 130,000. It is one of the top five in the world. Globalization. Mainly US based multinational companies are the main driver and employ third of the private sector workforce and pay 80% of the Irish business tax. Ireland exports include pharmaceutical, medical devices, software related goods and services, mineral resources such as zinc, aluminium and lead concentrate, agri food, cattle, beef and dairy product. Ireland's major import includes data processing equipment, chemicals, petroleum, petroleum product, textile and clothing. Even though Ireland is the beautiful country with lots of farm and green, the tourism account for only 4% of the GDP and agriculture account for 2% of the GDP. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed and get some value for your time. Thank you so much. See you in the next video or talk to you in the next video. Bye.